Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I am going to take you over to the third exercise of Workout Wednesday, the Workout Wednesday website, this the series or you can say week on week challenges that is being given here. I am just taking on each of these challenges to you so that uh, you and I both learn together right and practice our skill set. So with that. Uh, over here, I have already published two, my, two of my video and you can find the link of this sheet um, in the description. So I am keeping all of my exercise videos here. So not only Power BI related exercises, but all my future exercises, which let's say I create or I find it on other website will be present here. So make sure you have it as a bookmark. Also, you have the feature explainer videos where I have posted close to 196 or actually 196 videos uh, where you can search by the title and uh, using the link given in the column B, you can view the video. So the whole idea is that you have a very easy search functionality to search any of my uh, videos that is that I've placed uh, created in the past. And these steps I will keep creating as I find more and more topics which I need to segregate from each other like feature explainer versus exercises. Okay, so here as you can see I am keeping again the title, the video link but along with that I am also keeping the exercise link. So you don't have to search like it is. this link is also present in the video description. So all in all easy interface or easy accessibility to every information that you need to repeat the exercise. Alright, let's now go to the exercise. Exercise is basically about it is picking up on the week 2 exercise. This is the type of dashboard what we created in the week 2 exercise of the workout readiness day and uh, this week they will going to be adding a slicer and interactivity to our basic KPI. So slicer I showed you even in my previous video as to how you can add that but here in this video we will going to look at the interactivity right. So that's an interesting topic. I have explained this in one of my previous explainer videos. If you go here, fi find the interactivity or uh, interaction, you will find it. Uh, but here we will going to go through it again as an ex as an exercise. So once you have learned that, you know, to solidify your knowledge, exercise is what will going to help you. And this is my objective that I'll give you more and more exercises either with the help of already present like workout Wednesday or I may create my own so that you practice so much that at the end of the day all of these important skills at, is at your is on your tips. Okay so with that let's see what do they want us to do. They want us to add the slicer for the year. Okay let's go to the Power BI. Here is my Power BI report. However the coloring is little different but it is one of the exercise which has been given here. So we need to add a slicer. So I'll click on this slicer and I will going to add a field from here and the field is here. So I'll just select this and put it over here. Come on, you have it like a slicer over here, right? Uh, let's see, I can get it as a drop down. Yeah, I like the drop down. <laughs> Maybe you, have, you may have seen that most of the time I'm creating drop down. Or what I can do is I can just delete this. I'll copy and paste because I don't want to do the formatting again. I hate that. I mean lazy enough to, to do all the formatting. So that's why I just make sure that I do it once and I keep it uh, consistent and just copying and pasting the object. That's it. Okay. All right. So now I have this and I can select my ear. But if you see, as I select my ear, this trend is now showing only one point. And that's basically the main exercise that you have it over here. If I go to the exercise, added the interaction for the slicer to have it only slice the KPIs and bar chart and not trends. That means impact only this and this but not this because this is using ear as a dimension right so what we are going to do i'll show you if you already know this make sure you pause the video and come back uh, after your solution but if you don't know then for this 
make sure your slice, slicer is selected. You go into the format and within that you have this edit interactions. As soon as you will click on edit interaction, you will see that a sort of a filter icon and none icon is present with for each KPI, each trend chart and each of the bar chart. What it is basically showing is it is asking what do you want to filter or not want to filter using this slicer. So as per the exercise, we don't want to filter any of these. We don't want to filter the trend revenues, the trend of expenses and the trend of profit. So we have two icons over here. One is the filter icon, which says, yes, go ahead, filter me. And you have the none icon. That means you don't change me. I just want to keep it as it is. So, and the another thing is, since we are setting the interaction between this and this, that means if I'm selecting anything from here, it will still change this interaction. So this is very, very specific as you can see to only this filter, which is ear filter. So for the ear filter, let's set this to none, none and none. That means if you see, this is none is basically highlighted. All right, now let's test it. I will click on interaction. So those icons are now gone and I select 2005. So as you can see, no change in the trend. If I select 2008, no change in the trend, but only bar chart and KPIs are changing. But if I select only Arizona State University, then you will see that your these charts are changing or if you'll see every chart is basically changing because this is a free flow of information. And that means we have not set the interaction. However, you can set the interaction even for this particular by selecting this and then clicking on edit interaction. That way it will only change this specific filter and interaction with the charts. So that is one of the main exercise. Other than that, if you will see, you don't um, edit interaction conference breakdown. So, that can, so that's the same thing. Use colors to differentiate metric. Again, you can change the color. Uh, to differentiate the matrix. So for that, it's not only the colors, if you would see, it's basically it is changing this to area chart. So what I mean by that, if I select this and click over here, that's the chart which is being given over there, right? Similarly, if you will see this, you select this. If you see this, you select this. So for this chart, they have like sort of a dark blue and yellowish. So let's select this and uh, change, go into the formatting. And within the formatting, uh, we have the general, hopefully in the facts. Mm, no, let me just check it in the visual. You have the X axis, Y axis, lines and the markers and the plot area back. No, not the plot area background. Um, let me just think about not the grid line, I think, yeah, grid should be there in the lines and in the colors. So we have this color, let's change it to the dark blue. Okay, come over here. Yep, let's change to this. Same way, let's come here and change this to something like this, right? Just so that it looks like this one. Okay. Now, as an exercise, you will do it for the bar chart. So if I uncheck that, you follow the same color for this bar and this color for this bar chart, you need to change it. So for this, again, you have the section which is bars within the formatting section. All right. After this, figure out how much money Mac conference made in 2016. Okay, let's see this 2016. All right, so where is Mac? So first thing is our labels from the previous video to this video has looks like it has changed or maybe I have not selected the right one. So if I go into the conferences over here, conferences abbreviation is something what I need to change um, because it has the, it has those three letter words, like what is being shown over there. 
and we can see Mac over here, right? So I will just change this to this, change this. Oops, sorry, change this to this. So we have Mac everywhere now. So it's basically saying how much money Mac conference made in 2016. That means the revenues. So all in all, in case of revenues, 0.4 billion dollars is something Mac conference made in 2016, right? So that's something you can find it easily. Now, this is something what has been given in the exercise that you want to achieve. Uh, what if, if you want to go a little bit in that? So here, I want to show you just one or two uh, important options that is related to the slicers. Now, if you see the slicer, you will see that here more than 25 or 30, you know, um, filters have been given. It can be even 50 or 100, right? So first thing first is how we can enable the search type of a functionality so that we don't have to scroll or go one by one. We simply search and uh, and get the output. So for that, what do you need is you select whatever filter you want and come here in the format your visual, right? And you have this slicer settings. And in this options, as you can see, you have the search option. As you enable, you will find that a search icon is, been, is now coming. So for that, I will just search, let's say, by West. So now all of my universities that is related to West will come. And let's say I'm interested in West, Western Kentucky University. So this is what it is. Or if I want to select Western Michigan University, this is what it is, right? So that means you can select whatever you want. If I want to select East, I will get East like East Carolina University. So that is a very useful functionality. I use it in my Power BI reports uh, or the one which we created because we want to give this experience to the user where they are not spending time on, on basically searching one by one, but they have the free flow of search over here. So that's an one important thing I wanted to show. Also, another thing is, Many times you may not want user to have multiple selections. So for example, you want only one selection over here, let's say 2009. If I hold down my control or let's say in the front end, you know, you don't even need to hold the control. But here, let's say in the developer environment, I want to select one more value. So I will hold down my control key and select 2008. But let's say if you don't want that, right? We just want the user to always have one selection, right? So what do we do in that case? So make sure, uh, make sure that this is selected, right? Again, in your visual, you have slicer settings, right? You have selection. Right now, multiple select with control is enabled. So you click it over here, single select, and it will always have single select on. That means from the checkbox, it is now radio box. But the only thing is, you will always have one value selected. So if this is what you want, then this option is for you, right? So you can have the single select on, and this is what it is. Also, you can have the option of select all, but it will, it will always be available in the multi-select option. So you'll select, if you click on, you will have the select all option as well. So that you don't have to select one by one into each of the filter, right? So that's something, three very, very important features I wanted to show you to improve the, the overall uh, slicer behavior in your report because slicer is a key after you have find out the visualization or created the visualization. And having these functionalities will take your user experience to a next level. With that information, thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.